Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. I am weak and I need thy strength and power. Help me over my weakest hour. Help me through the darkness thy face to see. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk with you each day. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Friends, we gather here today on this Monday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. We also gather here today on this Labor Day as we ask for the sanctification or for the blessing of human labor. As we gather here today, let us ask the Lord of life to give us strength and courage to know that the work that we do here on earth can have great rewards and great benefit in heaven. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who have commanded the human race to bear the burden of labor, grant that the work we are beginning may bring progress in this life and by your favor advance the spread of the kingdom of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created them. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the bird of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to the, all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. And God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day until all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting you are God. Give success to the work of our hands. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years are in your sight, are as yesterday, now that it is past. Or as a watch of the night, you make an end of them in their sleep. Give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, 
that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed be the Lord day by day. God, our salvation, who bears our burden. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Labor Day. You know, as we gather here today, our first reading, of course, comes from the book of Genesis, the very first book of the Bible. And we are listening to one of the creation stories. There are two creation stories in Genesis. But as we hear about God creating the world, it is considered work for the Lord. And it is the work that the Lord did out of love. <coughs> he did it out of love for us. And our faith tells us that God created the world out of nothing. So nothing existed. And God then, in his love and in his mercy, he created the world. We see the dignity then of human labor. Because God worked, it also implies that we as human beings must work. As we heard in the opening prayer, our opening prayer said, O God, creator of all things, who have commanded the human race to bear the burden of labor. You know, today our country celebrates Labor Day when we give thanks for the blessings of human labor, to think of all that we have done, all that we have created in this world and built. But no matter what we built, no matter how grand or marvelous it may be, we must also know that the true builder of all is God. God gives us the inspiration. God gives us the tools. God gives us the wisdom so that we can make beautiful cathedrals beautiful churches in honor of his glory. The Lord rested on the seventh day. And that is what we do today from labor. We rest. But you know, I think that's important that one line in the gospel, in the first reading, we always need to remember that God looked at everything he had made and he found it very good. Can we say that? about everything that we create. Is everything that we create very good? Think about some of the filth that we see in movies, in books, some of the filth that is created in t-shirts, in TikTok videos, and in other things that our eyes gaze on. Today, as we implore God's blessings for human labor, we also pray for its sanctification, its purification, that we who create will create only things that are beautiful, 
only things that will help us on our spiritual journey that will lead us to the kingdom of God and not create those things that will lead us to the darkness and fires of hell. We have to be careful with what we create. Some of the weapons that we have created. We need to ask God for guidance. On this day of this Labor Day, we're also mindful of the many people throughout the world, throughout the country, and perhaps throughout the world who are not able to find employment. For those who seek employment, or those who are underemployed, which means working below their skill level just to provide for their needs or the needs of their family. The patron saint of those seeking employment and those seeking um, and for the unemployed is St. Gadgetan. And so we should pray for his intercession. You may not realize, but the liturgy, the word liturgy, so as we gather here today, this is really a liturgy of the word. Liturgy means work of the people, which means we are working today in our prayer. Not a laborious work, but a work that is beneficial to us. A work that we listen to God's words and we pray together that will benefit not only us, but hopefully the entire world through our prayers. That's the sanctification of human labor. And so today, let us give thanks to God for giving us that wisdom to allow us to create just as the Creator did. But also let us beg forgiveness for the times that we have created things that are not helpful to our salvation, but in fact are harmful to our souls. And so with humility, we bring our merciful Father our intentions. For the Universal Church, May Jesus be our guide in using the gifts to build up the body of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders throughout the world, may the spirit of truth prompt them to promote peace and prosperity among all the nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who labor each day. We pray for fair and just wages, and we pray that they create things beneficial to the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> for a greater respect for the dignity and sanctity of all human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live each day with illness or pain, may God provide them with this healing touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they be at peace in the heavenly kingdom with all the angels and the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who seek employment, that they may be successful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your needs, your intentions, that we bring to our heavenly Father in the very silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now unite our prayers into one. We lift them up to our Heavenly Father. We pray as Jesus taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Loving Father, we bring these prayers to you, entrusting them to your care through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wicked snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And now we turn to our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me, guide me along your way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day.